Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Skip, aka Skip and Tosh here, and I am doing another unboxing. It's another eBay day. Some books that were missing from my collection. I figured I'd come on here, open them up. We'll take a look at them. Y'all can see how I'm feeling in my collection. Um, eventually, I'll start to give a little progress report as well, but I'll do a impromptu progress report here in this video. But for everybody that's uh, new here, welcome. Uh, my name is Skip and Tosh. I do comic book reviews, um, unboxings, just discussions, and it'll be more and more frequently. So you're, if you're interested in that type of thing, feel free to subscribe, uh, and I would really appreciate it. It helps the video spread. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. I appreciate you coming back. Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Mainframe, Mainframe GG. Really dope gaming and nerd culture um, clothing company. Um, if you're interested, if you, if you like the logo, the Chevron, their, t uh, their slogan is Game or Die. And if you're interested in sweatshirts like this, more clothing like this, check out mainframe.gg. They have some incredible stuff. And I'll definitely be back there soon because holiday season is coming. Other thing is, if you've been here before, you know my voice doesn't usually sound like this. I'm a little under the weather, so I apologize about how squeaky my voice may sound or how weird uh, it may sound. But I didn't want that to come stop me because I was too excited and I had enough energy to come and do this unboxing. So without further ado, let's dive in and get started. Um, gotta love it when it's the eBay day and of course you see the tape so you know what time it is. Uh, some of the series that I'm narrowing down that I'm almost done collecting are the floppies for um, The Fade Out by Edward Baker and Sean Phillips. So don't be surprised if you see some of those books pop up on here. I'm also um, finishing out collecting the, some variant covers for East of West. I've got all of the cover A's. Heck, I've got some multiples and certain ones. So that's another series that you'll see me collecting on here. Uh, and I'm also in parts of my Ice Cream Man collection, which is my favorite ongoing series by W. Maxwell Prince and uh, Martin Morazzo, Chris O'Halloran on colors, and good old Neon on the lettering and design. So I really, uh, that's like my favorite book coming out right now. And I got... To the party late on that one so I'm paying for it because <laughs> I'm paying I'm playing catch up all right so the very first book that we got here which is very interesting how they how they put this together they kind of made in a sense I guess their own Gemini mailer okay so even inside of here we got I mean I like that they really protected the book I don't I don't want to I'm not trying to detract from that because trust me if y'all have seen some of the other uh haul videos, eBay day videos that I've done here, you've seen some books really not be protected, really not be protected well, so no complaints there. All right, one more layer of packaging to go. Uh, so yeah, Ice Cream Man is one I'm catching up on, but I'm also finding some other indie series, and it's mostly indie series that I collect. There's not a whole lot of... Um, like mainstream big two runs that I'm collecting outside of Jonathan Hickman's Fantastic Four because I also read that in trade. I didn't read that in singles. But oh, okay. So of course the first one that I opened is not a series that I talked about yet, but it's one of my favorite modern day writers, one of my favorite modern day artists, one of my favorite colorists, our boy Brad Simpson. And I think Aditya Bittaker also did, yeah, did the lettering. And I really like Aditya uh, Bittaker's uh, lettering. All in one book, and this is the last in the series. I already seen what it is. This is the last one I'm missing. It's Coffin Bound by Dan Waters, Danny, Brad Simpson, Aditya Bittaker. I was missing the, I believe this is the third printing. Yeah, the third printing of issue number one. And here it is for you. Gosh, yeah, I uh, I have the... First printing, of course, I've got the second printing as well. Just was missing the third printing of issue number one. Got all the other issues. Very happy to have this in my collection. Oddly enough, my uh, my issue number one is uh, it's damaged. Someone accidentally put a price stamp on the back of it. And uh, 
I'm going to try to use a uh, blow dryer and heat it up a little bit and see if I can get it off. Of course, it's still going to affect the grade of the comic because I'm not going to be able to get all the adhesive off without getting into the the actual paint of the comic, but maybe I'll make a video of that too so you guys can see me fail trying. It's like, why don't you just sit, spend the money and just get another number one, which I probably am going to end up doing anyway. But um, this is a very solid copy. Corners look good. Uh, I see only one minor spine tick. It doesn't break color, so I can press that out. You know, we'll be getting a press here soon. Corners on the back look good. Uh, this is a really, really, this is a great copy. Shoot, I'm, I mean, like, it's such a nice copy. Like, me not wearing gloves is probably bringing it down. But, uh, yes, Coffin Bound, number one, from Image Comics by Dan Waters, Danny, Brad Simpson, and Aditya Bideker. If you have not read it, it's only eight issues, and it is one of the most unique stories that you will read in comics. Came out in 2019. Um, been singing the praises of it ever since. And uh, me and my buddy Nalo, who you've seen on here before for our uh, top three indie comics of the year so far, um, he and I will be doing a discussion on Coffin Bound eventually, probably before the end of the year. Thank you for excusing me and allowing me to take a sip because <clears throat> this cold is definitely getting to me. Coffin Bound, issue number one. Moving on to the next book. Uh, all right. Anytime we get a Gemini mailer, I'm pretty happy. I like for the top of the Gemini mailer to be taped too, so that way, if it you know any any liquids, you know just minor moisture stays outside of there. Now, if they've got it wrapped on the inside, that's good too. But I do like the Gemini mailers to be mailed over the tops and bottoms as well. But hey, I got a Gemini mailer. You don't always get a Gemini mailer. Out of all. Three of the books that I've got gotten today, this is the only one that's coming in a Gemini mailer. Um, I was concerned about the how the condition of some of the books would be that didn't have a Gemini mailer. I'm going to tell you right now, like you see the corner on this guy, I'm concerned. It probably didn't get through all the way, but I'm still concerned. Anyhow, we got ourselves a Gemini mailer. All right. We got the blue masking tape. They're doing it right. Okay, this is really interesting. Okay, hold on. Okay, so along with that, so this is funny, because I, so they sent me an extra book, and look, did they send me two books? Okay, they sent me two books, they sent me an extra book, I didn't, uh, I didn't ask for this, so that's really cool to get an additional book, not only that, but this is a book that I had been curious about, um, from seeing the solicits of it, and I said, I want to read that, but I had no intentions of buying it anytime soon. But The Further Adventures of Nick Wilson by uh, Mark Andreco and uh, Sadowski. Hi-Fi looks like uh, looks like Hi-Fi did the co colors along with Our Larger World and someone named Denton. Yeah, this is effectively like a story about a, a dude who's like a superhero, but kind of like burnt out on it at the same time. So it's kind of chilling. That's what I got from the solicits, but um, yeah, and uh, yeah, he's definitely taking it easy because they've got one picture of him in his suit looking fit, and then uh, another picture on this side of uh, the suit not fitting so well anymore. Seems to be a reoccurring theme these days um, with writers and such, but I mean, looks like my man is uh, puffing the peace pipe, no doubt. So it's really cool to get this. So I got I got a Gemini mailer and an extra book, and it's a book that I was actually interested in reading. Um, they know how to take care of their customers. And when I go to give feedback, because I get feedback on every order, when I go to give feedback on eBay, I'm putting that in there. Like, and they're getting five stars. I'm gonna give them five stars for the um, for the packaging. I'm gonna give them five stars for the timing because they got the book to me pretty quick. Also. Now let's see the con let's see the condition that the book is in, and let's also for y'all to see what book it. Oh, okay, I see what book it is. Oh wow! All right, ah, happy day. Oh, happy day. Wow. Okay, let me finish cutting this part off. Um, not mad at them for how they 
how they taped it, but at the same time, kind of makes it difficult to get to the book. And the tape, these bags, not the best bags. The tape broke the bag, but that's okay because I got Ice Cream Man issue number 20, cover B, the Dr. Seuss official cover B. Now, I have all the other Dr. Seuss covers as well. I have the cover A for, for issue number 20 of Ice Cream Man, and I've got the other um, Dr. Seuss covers as well for um, the second printing, third printing, and the fourth printing, which, I mean, they're literally right there within eyesight. And for y'all who don't know what they look like, I might as well just grab them and show you. So give me one second. All right, it was longer than a second, but not much longer. Okay, so you've seen this one. This is cover B. This is cover A for it, not a Dr. Seuss homage cover. But um, my buddy Nalo was nice enough to get me one signed by W. Maxwell Prince. So there's that one. I believe that's cover C, second printing. Yeah, Dr. Seuss status. Third printing. And I think actually that's it. I said fourth printing, but I guess I, I thought that the orange one was the second printing. Really, it just went up to a third printing. Um, and this is has nothing to do with these ones. But yeah, to have all of these now officially, like all of the Dr. Seuss covers. I think this is the time that the internet was trying to cancel Dr. Seuss. This like... It just, this just happened to come out around that time. So these covers got really expensive, but luckily things have died down a little bit and, um, prices have come down, uh, for this one, this one was still the most expensive one, but all the other ones, the second and the third printings, the prices had come down enough to be able to, uh, to afford them rel re with relative ease. So minus the cover b the blue one that i just got these books weren't too expensive but i am very very happy to have them all now that part of the collection is complete um i'm still on a mission to get a few others but most of what i want for my screen man is complete at this point i'm mostly just missing out of the ones that i want i'm just missing a second printing of issue number two which is my favorite issue and then a uh a first printing of issue number one, which keep an eye out because that that's likely going to be coming by the end of the year. All right, and the last one, and I'm trying to think of what this is, but maybe it's better that I don't think about what it is and just share the surprise with you. So here we go. Opening this one up. Yeah, definitely looking forward to getting that ice cream. And I found one at a local shop out here, and the guy is pretty cool. So, all right. Hoping the condition of this book is okay, but let's hold it up and see what it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so this is a book called The Few, and they did an homage cover to East of West number one, which, do I have an East of West number one within reach? I think I do. Oh, I took, I put them away. Darn it. Well, if you look up East of West number one, which is, I feel like it's odd that I just don't have like an east of west. You know what I can do? I'll pull it up on my iPad for you. Why not? iPad's back on, right? Yeah. All right. Let's take a look. Yeah, so east of west, my favorite comic series of all time. Jonathan Hickman writing. Nick Dragata, my favorite artist um, and a buddy of mine uh, doing the art. And then another one of my favorite colorists, Frank Martin Jr., doing the colors. It's just like... And Russ Wooten doing the lettering. I really, really like Russ Wooten's lettering. So you put all those things together. And for me, like, easy to love. So here we go. So if you can see East of West number one here. And then let's see if I can hold it and not, like, break my iPad. Bam. And then the homage cover by The Few. Now, do I know what The Few is? 
No. Do I have any clue what it's about? Absolutely not. But it, for me, trying to get every single variant cover for East of West and only being at this point about six away, shoot, maybe less at this point, I just thought it was cool to go outside of that and not have it be so expensive and do this. So this is America. It's not the one that you wanted. It's the one that we've got. We did this. We did it with open eyes and willing hands. We broke it. And now it's time to pick up the pieces, which is, which of course is very similar to the little passage that's on East of West. This is the world. It's not the one we were supposed to have, but it's the one we made. We did this. We did it with open eyes and willing hands. We broke it and there's no putting it back together. So that's a little saying that's right there. Uh, on every issue of East of West, you see it. <sighs> Autofocus, are you doing your job right now? You see it right there. And it's a quote from uh, the inside of the book. So it's just really cool to have that in the collection. I went, I went above and beyond, because that's usually what Skip does, and got one that literally wasn't even part of the series, but felt like I had to have it anyway. That's my eBay haul for today. I uh, didn't want to make the video too long, but thank um because I can make videos really long because I like to talk about what I like. But um thanks so much for joining us. There'll be more videos coming. Uh next video will be a haul video. My buddy Nick Dragata moved and left me a bunch of books. A bunch of books. And I'm going to do a video about what it looks like when you're comics pro, pro friend moves and leaves you <laughs> a bunch of books uh tons of great stuff in there i haven't even gone through it all i just went through like two bags i think um and he left me a total of about six or seven uh so i gotta break it up in parts but uh, i'm gonna do it live so if you want to be with me while i do it live it's uh, twitch.tv backslash skipintosh turn on the notifications my schedule is very regular over there so um just join me over there, and then you'll get to see me go through that collection that I have now. And then try to figure out how I'm going to get through it within the next two years <laughs> with all the comics I already buy. Because I like to read my comics, um, you know, unless I've already read them before. But I like to reread my comics because I love comics. Anyhow, thanks so much for joining me today, y'all. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Helps the video spread. And... Uh, Come join the Discord. Link should be in the uh, description as well. We could talk about comics. I'm in various different Discords. If you like to talk about comics, I have no problem inviting you to the various different ones that I'm in. Um, so start by joining mine, and then we can branch out from there. Other than that, y'all take care. Peace.